Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks so much for watching all my videos. Today this video is to let you know about my most recent uh, work, which is my webinar. I'm trying to come out with one a month, which is to support you uh, give you expanded information and most of all to envelop you in the heart energy that continues making it easy for you to move along. That really does happen. That happens by virtue of the fact that I am a Blu-ray and I am not only a Blu-ray, I'm a blue golden ray. So while that might seem like, well how do you know that or what does that mean? What that means is I'm an original and I'm fulfilling my original agreement to be a guide back home to the new earth. There are some people who still are learning who they are. There are people who are awakening. If you've just recently come into this information, this is uh, sometimes alarming, sometimes something that just seems otherworldly. It can seem beyond the natural world or supernatural to some people. It's distinctly phenomenal. If you are a Blu-ray, some of the things that we do have in common is many of us have had uh, not just one, but sometimes several near-death experiences. We usually have had several senses open from the time of a child and there's reasons for that. That is some of what I do talk about in some of my uh, webinars along the way. Every webinar builds upon the other. And those of you who do persist are really doing what your real soul purpose is in being here. I want to also make something quite clear right here and right now. This is a time frame that is especially for two twin flames, true twin flames, and some divine counterparts. Now, what would we do if you have to put people on hold? On a personal level, that true love will make you feel like the earth stands still. But life does go on and you have responsibilities, you have children, you might have bills to pay, you might have a business, a career, a calling, and for many people, they don't know how to balance it. That is what one of the things that I assist with through these is how do you find the proper balancing? How do you release the things that really aren't pertinent for you going forward and do it easily in an expedited manner? What if you have children? What if you do still have bills to pay and obligations? What if you're juggling two households? These are distinct challenges because many of you are going to continue to have a foot in two worlds. And some of you, it's getting ready to pivot. We are getting to the pivot point here of coming out of 3D Earth and that quantum jump that many people have been wanting, expecting, and even some people have been afraid of because it's very real. This is getting very real for a lot of people. This time frame from the spring equinox to the uh, solstice, which is the autumn in the southern hemisphere and the winter. Um, so from equinox to solstice, it's twin flame time. It, don't, it won't matter what the rest of the world wants to do. It'll keep going do -do 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 -do, spinning in space. Use the time wisely. Get yourself ready. You are the sovereign beings here. You are amongst the first. Many of you are the finest dimensional dancers around. And yes, you will be doing that dance between this level, this plane here, and the fifth dimension. Woohoo! Who's been waiting for that? Yes, indeed. It is right here, right now. And it, you're speeding right into it. In fact, some of you are going to feel like you're flung right into it. I have a little diagram here. This is how I um, usually will view couples with everything else around you and this is the aspect of the higher that you're trying to integrate. So which brings me to my 
topic here of my webinar. This one I am calling the sensual lover. Now many of you have been uh, very aware that there's a lot of 3D stuff, patterns, behaviors, excesses, addictions, beliefs, all kinds of stuff we don't want to bring with us. You wouldn't bring it with you, would you? You're not going to be bringing anything with you. You're getting naked, you're getting cleaned out, you're becoming emptied out. And yet, if you do have things that you've taken on a responsibility of, I'm not talking about obligation, I'm talking about the things that are near and dear to you, especially children. If you're a business owner, is it the people that work for you? Are, do you have your own kingdom that you and your twin will be joining together and you're doing this? There is a vested interest we have in each other here. We're all. And I am here to uh, teach you some of the stuff. And the teaching goes beyond words. It goes beyond the teaching. There is an energetic component delivered with this. Many of you want your sensual lover. You want to be a sensual lover. What are those senses? So some of the several topics that I outline in here, it's an hour and a half long webinar. I talk about releasing the emotional baggage for good. Like really, where is it stuck and where is, how is it going to get out of you? and getting it out for good. Many people, um, the parts of you, the body parts of you, have lived and thrived almost in a perpetual state of crisis. You're having adrenal crises. You are having um, too much cortisol. You're being stressed. And all of those stressor hormones are being released throughout your bloodstream. How do you get off of those? Because those can be just as addictive. There's people that are addicted to drama. There's people that try to maintain that tension. How do you get out of it? So I talk about releasing that emotional baggage. Even when it's children around you bringing it. Some of you have your karma living and breathing with you right in your own household. How do you balance yourself every day? Because I'll tell you something. You're not here to ner have a nervous breakdown and... You are not crazy. Many times your own senses will tell you things that don't jibe with the human level of living. I am talking also about your brain and about the psyche, which has been damaged in several lifetimes. And the fact that we are leaving 3D Earth. Yes, you are. Yes, we are leaving. It gives me great honor and privilege to say, we are leaving and we're coming back with some good stuff. We're coming back with the love. And many of you are going to be in love again. You are detaching from the etheric body of the 3D earth plane. What does that mean? That means that the soul group, the uh, sometimes the root, other parts of you, that you are detaching from it. No longer will you be able to relegate your twin flame union to the ethers in any way, shape, or form. Now, I want to applaud those people who did reach out to their twin. You used your voice. You used your words. Your voice carries the vibration of your soul. You uh, did everything within your power that was appropriate and reasonable and sensible. And many of you had a good response. I encourage you. Again and again, because you are ditching the 3D earth plane. Find out how to get detached and remain because you're not here to live in a void. There is a truly no void, but there is an in-between place that you're, trans you're in a transition. And you are getting to your real life and you're remembering the real life that you're actually simultaneously living. How do you hold it? How are you going to balance? How are you going to keep from, you know, having things give you a nervous breakdown? Because that's not what you're here for. You're not here to be anyone's doormat, punching bag, put your life on hold, settle for anything less than true love. Your, I also talk about your expanded angelic senses beyond five senses. Now, a lot of people know that they have a sixth sense, or what Irish people, like me, have called the sixth sense.
but you have senses beyond this. And when I outline this in my webinar, you're, you're going to really find that that clicks with you. And some of you may even know like, hey, I really have like even more beyond this that I've become aware of. And what the purpose is, where it comes from. Blu-rays particularly do have more at this time because you have it open. You are also elevating those people around you, especially if you are a Blu-ray or a Blue Golden person. Now, what does that mean? In a nutshell, that means that you may see other people around you going through ascension symptoms very swiftly, very rapidly. Sometimes you may feel like a bystander or a witness watching it, and yet you will know things about the situation. It could be family. It could be co-workers, colleagues. It could be people that um, are your own children. You could see your children of any age going through things. And there are certain age ranges, particularly anywhere from about 10 to 12 up to 14. Those kids are going to be slammed right through it. You've got to know how to help your kids. You can't be in a void while your children are not getting the proper attention and knowledge that you're able to bring through for them. They need you. Even if it's a foster child, an adopted child, the child of your twin flame, a child that is near you, you use what you are able to, which is your heart, the intelligence that comes through your heart. And yes, you are elevating those people around you. You've brought in the gifts. You're going to start helping them light up, especially if you're Blu-ray or Blue Golden. I define people as distinct distinguished from gold rays, um, the words that I get are golden, distinguishing the people who are here from the new earth. And there are people whose energy does have the vibration of the new earth. You are helping people that are near you. You just are. It's a given. It's what you do by being. You just be yourself and the vibe goes. How do you be yourself? That's the challenge. That is the challenge, which is why I've come up with these, is how do you get it so that you can maintain yourself, stay balanced, keep vibing, keep as, as high a vibe as you can, and still be going about your daily business here? Because your body's not going to evaporate, and you don't want it to break down. You don't want to end up in the hospital or it, um, at a mental hospital seeking assistance. And there are twin flames where that happens because that is sometimes the only help that they can get. And even that, you'll be elevating right away from it. This is a very pivotal time. You are losing fear from the heart. The mind doesn't know all the ways that we connect. The ego mind is not ruling the show here. So humans, other people, will not understand how the divine that you are has shown you who your true love is. You can tell people, and I encourage you to do so. The divine has shown me who my true love is, and I'm waiting for them. I'm holding out because that's what's best for me. You also are not here to uh, diminish what you have, relegate it back to the ethers. Don't do it. You're going to find that a lot of things go on hold for you until you focus on the pri making this a priority. It's time. And when it comes to you know, this time frame that we're in, April's going to be huge. We have quite a few events coming up here. And this is to help you get prepared. What do you do with retrogrades? What do you do in certain time periods? That brings me to the body parts that are still getting adjusted. Your nervous system, your spine, the gut. Everything in your gut is going undergoing. It, it might be digestive upsets. It might be bowel things. It's going to go through an adjustment and your organs and especially the head. That's one thing that two months ago, the headache. There's going to be people that have the most massive headache ever. Why? It has to do with your angelic senses. 
It has to do with that and detaching from the etheric body of the planet. What do you do to alleviate it? Now, along with this video, I don't leave you hanging. I don't just give you information. This isn't just handing you a book. I have several exercises. I want to emphasize to you again that those of you who will be going to the new earth, having a vivid recollection of it, you're not going to get dropped down here and like have everything be a mess. You're going to still be maintaining the time is still going to be compressed, which means that you need to be able to cut to the chase on things. That's what I pride myself on. I pride myself on helping get people through, getting, continuing their ascension so that they can really put their light bodies together with their twin and be happy. That is the wish that I have, is that you're happily in love and you're not floundering around here. This is specific and it goes on beyond what you uh, may read and take in visually in terms of the words or hear. There is also the sense that I have that many of you left to your own devices, you would leave this because you don't know what to do. And that's understandable. Many of us don't know what to do. You're in the time frame of literally feeling things as you go. And it's important that you know how to feel and sense what your next moves are, what's appropriate, what's optimal for you. You know, here's your choices. What's the optimal one? What do you, what action do you give your energy to? What is appropriate? When do you fly away? When do you you know, when is it time to leave a job, a marriage? When is it time to uh, make a baby? We haven't even gotten to some of that yet. That the children that are here um, will need proper care and they'll get it. There are also pe um, the pets, that pe animals that people sometimes do consider their children. And they will need proper care and maintenance. You know, we, we're not doing this haphazardly or half-heartedly. This is with the whole heart. This is driven by your soul, which will know what is sensible and how it will be adventurous, fun, and romantic. Some of you who have a good basis of friendship with your twin, I applaud you because that is vitally important. It's critical right now. And when you don't know, take the plunge and invest in a little bit of teaching and guidance for yourself. It will be worth it. Some of you are also having some things come up in your union that have to do with racial oppression, religious oppression, the darkness of it, the history. It's all coming in a rush and what do you do with it? How do you get it up and out of all of your subtle bodies? How do you get it out from between the layers of lives that you've had? You know, I, I swear if I would cut off my arm, I could count the rings of like how many uh, lives I've had. But we're not doing that. Some of you know that there's layers and layers of stuff. How do you get it uh, cleaned and cleared? And how do you help your twin who may be suffering from the effects of those types of things? Racial, slavery, um, aspects of ownership, possession, aspects of uh, religious oppression, spiritual oppression. That's coming up big time. Inner child issues. What do you do about um, not only the children, but your own inner child? And how do you keep it moving along so it doesn't affect either of you? It's up to you to um, do this. This is not up to another entity. You're the only one in the entire universe who has the very unique connections and exact matching vibration in the entire universe. As cookie cutter as you might be and as many people that might say, well, you're in this phase or you're in this stage right now. I don't really quite subscribe to that because I've seen people just absolutely jump forward and skip over stages. You, it's possible. That is what I call quantum jumping. Whatever other people's definitions are, that's a quantum leap. It takes a quantum leap of faith and love to do that. So 
without um, giving you something that is uh, going to let you know uh, you have um, you know a diminishment here what I want to let you know is that everything is getting ready for expansion some of you are the very first people who will you need to you need to get into your new abundant flow and you need to have those new callings really come forward because once you do other people will wake up and they may need you they may need you just like right now there might be people who need what I'm putting out there and what is it that you want most in this world I hear time and again people say this is not romantic I will tell you something when everything is connected in the right place earth romance doesn't hold a candle cards flowers chocolates they're all really nice candy's dandy but love is quicker and sweeter and you want a sensual lover you want that man or that woman's to be so tuned into you so sensual find out what your senses are beyond this find out what's really coming up for you because if you're a blu-ray you may have a vivid recollection of it or you may have an actual experience of it if you're not if you're not fully opened you know if all of those parts on you that someone's still pushing the buttons on are you know some of the layers that have stuff in them find out how to shift your energies I have uh, five very good exercises for that I have one to jumpstart your metabolism so that you're not spending your whole day exercising unless you really love staying in the gym for an hour or two hours and let me say your light body doesn't need that you need to get jump started in the morning because you've got other things to do and you're in a time compression I have one I call the three minute burn I have one that I call across the cosmos in 10 minutes I have one that is uh, for breathing to alleviate anxiety and get the breath the, that really good breath where you need it to I have one that is um, for your interpersonal chakra which is your communication point for speaking with your twin at any physical level of living it's there you need to clear it off so that you can a lot of this religious um, racial slavery a lot of the masculine energy lays over that part exactly you want to be able to communicate this is your wireless it's not a device it's not an antenna it's not up here it is here it's the heart and there is um, another one that I call cat crouch and pounce that is for alleviating a lot of the head energies what you're gonna find is the headache or your nervous system that you get kind of a buildup going on learn how to get your energies flowing learn how to circulate it that is the key it is through your body if you are a true twin flame and especially if you're a blu-ray something about seven chakras isn't going to cut it it's not going to address every inside and other part of you it's not to knock it seven chakras are for a human body system you're not human anymore so thank you so much for listening for watching the link to purchase my webinar called the sensual lover is available on my website I wish all of you to become sensual lovers with each other it's for each other you really only have the stuff pop open with each other and some of it's going to start up before you re-encounter so thanks so much and I wish you to have a wonderful day bye now